If there's one thing that I remember from my third grade English teacher, it's that you never start a sentence with the word and. And you certainly should not start an entire Parsha in the Torah with the word and. And yet that's exactly what happens this week. And these are the laws that Moshe and Moses put forth to the children of Israel. Now the commentaries, of course, want to know why in the world does this start with an and? And is a word that connects. It connects to something that came before. So what came before? What came before were the Ten Commandments. What follows in this week's Parsha are all the laws of civil conduct. The laws that require us to be extra sensitive to people in our lives, our workers, to pay them on time, to widows, to orphans, to people that we're doing business with, to be respectful of their property as we would respect our own property, to be careful not to damage, not to steal, not to be in any way cringing or encroaching upon another person's livelihood. These are all the laws of this week's Parsha. And the Torah wants us to know, and Rashi tells us this, that just like last week's Torah portion was clearly originating from Mount Sinai, because it was the Ten Commandments, so too these laws. Don't think for a second that just because every society and every culture has its own set of torts and civil laws, that these laws somehow are not godly in nature or do not come from the Torah, they'll come from Mount Sinai. They do. They absolutely do. These laws, these unique laws that the Jewish people received at Mount Sinai, telling us how to live with one another, how to respect one another, how to be incredibly aware and careful of other human beings and, and their needs and our responsibility towards them, they are every bit as much godly and divine in nature as the Ten Commandments. You know, this week... I attended something really incredible. It was a conference of all the Israeli high-tech companies. And it was about how Israeli high-tech companies are saving the planet. And they're doing amazing things with water reclamation in Africa and doing incredible things with other things, saving the planet, global climate and, and virtual reality and all these amazing technologies that are being used for reforestation on and on and on. And in many ways, I would say, this is how Israel and the Jewish people continue in this modern age to be a light unto the nations and to fulfill our destiny as a nation. We're importing this technology, we're giving it to the world, we're teaching them, we're helping them, we're preparing them to be able to solve their own crises and their own problems in their countries. But I think it's very important to remember that the real export that comes from this country the real export of the Jewish people, of course, technology and the startup nation, but the real thing that we have to share with the world is morality and a high, high level of, of expectation and responsibility towards other human beings in our lives. And that's what this Parsha is all about. And that is every bit as much divine in nature as the Ten Commandments. And that's why this Torah portion starts with a vav to connect everything in this week's Torah portion to everything that came last week. So if something to think about at your Shabbat table, how can we continue to be a light unto the nations, not just in the realm of technology and what we're teaching the world and what we're sharing with the world, but in the realm of morality? And most importantly, what can I do? What role can I play in this amazing mission statement of the Jewish people to be a light unto the nations? Have a wonderful Shabbos, everybody. Wishing you Shabbat Shalom from Yushalayim.